found this story at yahoo.com. Now we're going to Minneapolis where the police department is looking for officers. If you want to be a cop and you know it, I, I'm having a hard time finding a job as a police officer, go to Minneapolis, Minnesota because they're looking for cops. They'll probably hire you. The Minneapolis Police Department was reduced to a third of its size after the George Floyd incident. Two years later, 2022, they are still struggling to hire more police officers, according to the Associated Press. Only 57 people applied as recruits this year, down from 292 in 2019. <clears throat> um, now, the Minneapolis Police Department is still struggling to rebuild its force more than two years after the killing of George Floyd. The department has been reduced to about a third of its size, as I said, citing post-traumatic stress from the 2020 incident. Um, officials are trying to convince individuals to join the police force, recently holding a panel for only six attendees at the Minneapolis Police Academy. Six people. While here in uh, San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department, there's a lot of people, I think, what, probably 40 or 50 sometimes. Because they always have the graduations here on YouTube. But there they had six people in their police academy. Wow. Now, Sergeant Vanessa Anderson told potential recruits during the panel, there's still people who still value us. The community still values us. I really do think that. <laughs> you keep thinking that. Yeah, I think that I'm a millionaire too. <laughs> I own a mansion and a yacht. Police spokesman Garrett Parton told the Associated Press, you can scream as loud as you want, hire more people, but if fewer people are applying, then it's not going to change the outcome much. Across the country, recruitment has become an issue. There's just fewer people that are applying for the job. Yeah, because nobody wants to be a cop. Well, you know why? Because nobody wants to get shot for no reason. And you know why that's happening? Because there are bad cops out there that are violating policy, breaking the law, violating civil rights, and the good cops, and I do believe there are some good cops, are going, I'm not saying nothing, man, because I, I don't see anything because I don't want to get uh, ostracized by my department. I don't want my people turning against me, so I don't see nothing. And so as people get fed up with it, they're taking matters into their own hands. I don't condone that. I don't um, approve of it. I don't support it. But it's happening. And we know why. Well, I mean, why are people just shooting cops for no reason? Because they think they're going to get hurt or because they're tired of people getting beat up. I was doing a, a cop watch the other night in San Bernardino and this girl was like, this weirdo here, what are you doing recording them? What? what and, you know, I was telling him what and she's like, oh, you're, it's kind of weird. And, but the guy next to her goes, no, man, he just tired of seeing people. Or he said, he just fed up with seeing people get their ass whooped. I said, yeah. That's it. That's why I'm recording the police because I'm fed up with seeing people get the ass whooped by cops. Now, some protesters wage lawsuits against police for misconduct or for their conduct at the uh, George Floyd protests of 2020, with the city of Minneapolis recently awarding more than $700,000 for separate settlements of cases of unreasonable and excessive force regarding the 2020 protests. <clears throat> and it goes down from there. You can again click the link in the description box. Um, well, that's probably the end. That's pretty much the end of it. But the thing is, Minneapolis is looking for cops. Nobody wants to be a cop in Minneapolis. And they're saying, Uncle Minnie wants you. <laughs>